All right, here we are for question number five from the 2016 AP exam. This was an area volume question for us that caused people panic because it talks about what's called a funnel. And everybody in my class said, Mr. Warren, now you never taught us how to find the volume of a funnel. You don't really have to know the volume of a funnel to answer this question. I promise you it is pretty easy to do. So let's take a look here. We're the inside of a funnel, which has a height of 10 inches. And in circular cross sections, and that sounds familiar to me, cross sections, and a height of H. The radius of the funnel at any given time is given by this problem. That's our radius right here. And they're telling us that this is 1 over 20, 3 plus H squared. That's the radius at any given time. And the first question they want me to find is the average value of the radius. Well, average value, that's just our, our favorite formula which should be, remember, 1 over b minus a from a to b, and that's going to be f of x dx. So for us, uh, since we're going from 0 to 10, we can have 1 over 10 minus 0, the integral from 0 to 10 of 1 20th, 3 plus h squared dh this time. <clears throat> now, you're going to get one point just for writing that integral. Now, we're going to simplify it. Now, we do have to solve this one, but this one's not a bad one to solve. So the first thing we're going to do is back out the 1 over 20. And if we do that, we're going to get this 1 over 200 from 0 to 10, 3 plus 8 squared dh. And integrating that, 1 over 200, that becomes 3h plus h cubed over 3 from 0 to 10. And we don't worry about the zero. We're going to need the fundamental theorem, f of uh, 10 minus f of zero. So we get this 1 over 200 times uh, f of 10. That becomes 300 minus 3,000, right? 10 cubed over 3. We don't worry about the zero because that just becomes zero right there. And there's our answer. Now, we should include units. Uh, height is measured. This is the average radius and the radius they tell me is in inches so inches don't forget your unit so how do we do this we've got one point for the antiderivative one point for the integral one point for your answer do not simplify quick and easy that's a nice little problem right there all right for question b now they want to find the volume of the funnel and to do that if we go back here they're kind of giving us these little disks so this is our disk method for defining the volume so if we find our disk, whoops, if we draw our disk, there's our disk. This has a height, dh, and right here, and we have our radius. Now, the radius, remember, is 1 over 20, 3 plus h squared, right there. So if we want to find the volume, if we get the volume here, it's going to be pi r squared h. So we're going to get pi, the radius, which is 1 over 20, 3 plus h squared, squared, the height of dh, and we're going to integrate that from 0 to 10. Now I'm going to clean this up a lot. If I square the 200, that becomes 400. So we're going to get pi over 400 from 0 to 10, and I'm going to square this part as well. That's going to give me 9 plus 6 h squared plus h to the fourth dh. Um, solve, simplifying the inter, uh, integrating, we get pi over 400, and we're going to get this. <clears throat> this becomes 9 h plus this becomes 2 h cubed plus h to the fifth over 5 from 0 to 10. And using the fundamental theorem, f of 10 minus f of 0, plug in, we get the pi over 400, and we're going to get 90 plus, be careful, that becomes two, 1,000 times 2, so that becomes, what, 2,000? Plus 10 to the fifth is 10,000 over 5, 
and the area, this is inches, so we want, uh, sorry, we want volume, and this is inches, so this would be inches cubed. We don't worry about the f of zero because that's all just going to become zero anyways. All that just goes to zero if we use zero there. So there is our final answer. Now, like I said before, I'm boxing in my answers. It's a terrible habit to get into. Do not box your answers. You will get one point for setting up your integral, one point for the antiderivative, and one point for your answer. Now, you should have all six points by now because these really are pretty easy to do. All right. <clears throat> but this is the one that caused people to panic. I can't find volume. How do you find volume of a funnel? It's not. It's just a disk method. And you will see this most likely on the AP. All right. So for part C, it says uh, the funnel contains a liquid draining it from the bottom. At the instant the height is 3 inches, the radius of the surface is decreasing at a rate of 0.15 inch per second. Hmm. This sounds like a related rate. And that's what it is. This is how the AP will throw in a related rate. And you will most likely see one like this on the AP. It's thrown in almost every test. At this instant, what is the rate of the height? So let's find out what we're given. We're given the height is 3 inches. Uh, the radius is decreasing, so dr dt, be careful, it's negative one-fifth inch per second. Remember, it's negative because it's decreasing right there. We're told that it's decreasing, so it's got to be negative. And what are we trying to find? The change in height dh dt. So we know, well, what is the radius equal to? 1 over 20, and that is 3 plus h squared. So we take the derivative, dr dt equals 1 over 20, 2h, but don't forget, it's, a, it's implicit, there's a chain rule, dh dt. And I just plug in. The RDT is we know is negative one fifth equals this becomes uh, one over ten. We're told the height is three dh dt, and I just solve this. This become and if you solve this, you get dh dt equals negative two thirds, and that will be inches because change in height is in inches, change in time is in seconds, and then we can write our answer. The height is decreasing at a rate of negative two thirds inches per second. So, so. Struggling with some difficulty here. So anyway, so that was the answer for part C there. Oops, hold on here. So that was the answer for part C. So I hope you guys do okay with that one. And uh, um, I will see you guys later. Sorry, I had some technical difficulties there. So I uh, hope you're able to get to it. Let me see here. There it is. There it is, question C. Now this was worth a total of three points. Uh, two points for here and one point for your answer. Uh, I will see you all later. Bye.